get going here. Before we start saying exactly the thought that I wanted to bring out on this week's parsha, I just saw something mamish amazing, a small part. Question this week, we have Kabbalah Satur in the parsha. So if I were to ask you, Kabbalah Satur is what? It was the whole Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, everything was Kedai, all the Makis, the whole Golas, the whole, everything was, uh, was leading up to Kabbalah Satur. So we come to Kabbalah Satur, and what's the name of this week's parsha? Yisrael. So if I were to ask you, well, I, I would think that the name of this week's parsha should be Moshe. Something. The, 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 the highest, the, the, the goal that we've been trying to reach for the last few hundred years, we come to Kabbalah Satur, and the name of the parsha is Yisrael. That it's in. It says a beautiful part I saw I, uh, this week. That had we said, had we called the parsha of Kabbalah Satur a Moshe, so we would have thought you had to be a Moshe, not to be a Kabbalah Satur. So what the, it's specifically telling us that this Parsha is called Parsha Yisroi because we know Yisroi's history, we know where Yisroi came from. That Kabbalah the Torah is for everybody. If you want to be Makabal the Torah, it's in your hands. You could be Makabal the Torah. So yes, Kabbalah the Torah, the name of the Parsha is Parsha Yisroi for a reason and for a good reason. Okay, so we move on from that. I don't remember who said it. I remember seeing it this week, and uh, maybe by the end of the year I remember. By Yishma Yisroi Kai and Midian. Chesed Moshe, Yisroi saw. What did Yisroi see? So Rashi brings the famous Mechilta that says, Yisroi saw, Kriyas Yansuf, Mechem Esamolek. He saw those two things. Rashi asks, Ma Shmua Shashama Uba? What is the, what did he hear that made him come? So Rashi says, Kriyas Yansuf, Mechem Esamolek. That's a Mechilta. The first from say over here, that the Ica word in Rashi, right here, is Uba. Ma Shmua Shashama Uba. What's what exactly did he, did he hear? Because the Pasik says, uh the Pasik says that he saw Asher he saw he saw he, saw, he, saw, he heard about Yitzhak Mitzrayim. So we know exactly what he heard. But what is it that he heard that made him they need something register in Yisrael's head that he had to come? What exact what motivated him? What prompted him to now pick himself up and come? Because Yitzhak Mitzrayim he could have been happy from home, let him throw a party. It was very good news. It was a wonderful thing that happened. So we'll make an ATS from trying party at home. But something motivated him to pick himself up and come now. So the, the Divrei Shmuel says a beautiful, beautiful shot here. The entire world, the, the MS, the entire world, by the Marcus, by Chris Yam, by Chris Yam, the entire world was in amazement, was turned over. It was the big news, top headline news on every single network in the world. Shamu Amim Yergozun, we know that it was, everybody was mamishly spoiled from the entire thing, Tis Mitzrayim, Tis Yamsuk, and what happened? Every, everybody knew that it was a tremendous emun over here now. Everybody knew that it must have been a, a Kaddish Baruch Hu. Had that been a Kaddish Baruch Hu, it was, it was just flabbergasting what was happening. However, what do we see? Right away, by Yahweh Amalek. Amalek came, Amalek didn't care. No matter what, what he said, no matter what the news was, no matter how spoiled everybody was, everybody, everybody, the entire world. But Amalek was not. Amalek got up, and Amalek right away came and went to went to war with Klai Yisrael. So you, this is so much more Shomu What about Chris Yamsuf made Yisrael? What about Mechemes Amalek made Yisrael pick himself up and come? Yisrael saw like this. The entire world was uh, so an unbelievable thing, and they were mamish and spoiled from the whole thing, and Amalek didn't care. Amalek went, and he went to fight Klai Yisrael. So Yisrael is sitting at home, and he says, you know what, I can become another Amalek. I mean, I, I, it was something that's so obvious that the whole world sees, and still it's possible to be a Kaifer. It's still possible to say, no, it wasn't a Kaddish Baruch Hu. It had nothing to do with me. I can go fight with Klai Yisrael. So Yisrael is seeing all this, sitting at home. He says, no, no, no. If I sit at home, I might just become another Amalek one day. So he had to pick himself up. He said, I have to go, and I have to go. I have to join Klai Yisrael. I have to be more than just the person sitting at home and having the sort of intellectual emuna by reasoning. Um, because you see, it doesn't work. You see, Amalek... Uh, did to the contrary. Yeah, a little bit further in the Parsha, the beginning of the Aseris Adibrois, the first one of the Aseris Adibrois is Anoichi Hashem Alekecha. Koshmo says, I am, Koshmo says, I am Hashem, right? Anoichi Hashem Alekecha. By Kriyas Yamsuf, what happened? Ross a Shivcha Alayom, a maidservant, uh, in the time of Kriyas Yamsuf, saw more Nevius, and of course you talk about it different ways, in Yechezkel. 
the people, there is a tremendous clarity of emuna, a tremendous siyat of the at that time. And by Yemiru Bashem of Moshe Avdoi, the Pasuk says there was a tremendous amount of emuna. So when you're starting off the Aseris Adibrois, why would you start the Aseris Adibrois with Anachi Hashem Alikecha? That was the thing, that was the, the most obvious thing in the world at that point was everybody was a believer. Besides Amalek, we said, but people were mamish, unbelievable, were, were, were believers. Why did we have to go ahead and, and start the Aseris Adibrois with Anachi Hashem Alikecha? So the Sima Shalom says a beautiful word here. I know everything I say, I always say it's a beautiful word, but it really is. It really is. It's just like this. Just like, like we said before, a, a lot of people, people go through a matzah with their emuna, it, 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 it's cloudy. Like sometimes things happen, you go through shvera, uh, matzavim in your life, you go through hard times in your life, and the emuna comes a little, a little cloudy. So the, the Sima Shalom says, that's, why does that happen? Because our emuna is based on what we said, what Yisrael was thinking. Our Amuna is based on, on, on a cheshben, a chakira. We, we, we understand that it must be, if this, this happens, it must be Hashem. But what about when, when, when your life is not going so well, things don't work out so well, and you might lose a little bit. So the first one of the Aseris Abdibrais is telling us, Anoichi Hashem Alekecha, that the Amuna of a Yid can't be an Amuna that comes from a, a Chakira. It comes, can't, some, it can't be an intellectual Amuna. It can't be an Amuna that comes from reasoning. When Yisroi, we, we see a little further in the, in, in the Pasha of Yisroi, at the beginning, Yisroi says, Ate Yadati, that now I understand. What does it mean, now I understand? So the Mechilta says that I understood before, but now I understand a little more clearly. So now we can understand, with what, we, what we're saying, it, it makes a lot of sense that Yisrael, of course, he saw Yitzhiya Smitrayim, and he saw everything, but now, now Yisrael understood that he has to come to a more clear Amuna. Ata Yadati, I had an Amuna before, but now I have to come to a, to a, to a much more clear Amuna. And even though, and we know that, we see that even though it was clear to everybody in the world, that, that, that it was HaKadosh Baruch Hu. But yes, we saw from Amalek, he said, you know what? It, it, it's very possible that this, that this Amuna that I have is coming to talk to an intellectual thinking about what's going on. And, and that's not the kind of Amuna that, that's, an, that's a lasting Amuna. And the we can say this by the, the other Aseris Adibris also. You look at the, at the end of the Aseris Adibris, we have like Sirtsa, the person should murder, like Signa, if you shouldn't, you shouldn't steal. So what do we, you might think what? You might think that, uh, yeah, okay, I understand, there's only certs up, there's, uh, there's only signal. But what if maybe it's only under certain circumstances that, uh, that, that may, maybe if somebody does ter something terrible, terrible to me, maybe a doctor could uh, murder him. Like, you, know, you, you, ever, you ever prompted sometimes, you hang I'm going to murder that guy. You know, maybe if the Torah did not, so maybe you would feel that it's... Uh, it's it's talk that we could do it, or or like sing like maybe on the certain the guy steals from you, whatever it is in business, this that, and maybe uh, you talk uh, you you'll be more ahead to be yourself or something to steal. Maybe maybe you'll think it's the uh, it's that kind of so the Torah comes and says that let me tell you why it's usher. It's usher for the same reason that you have to believe it. it's usher because the Torah says that it's usher. The same thing like anoichi Hashem The same thing that anoichi Hashem is. The same thing is also like Sirtzach, like Signai, all these things are not us or because you and your mind, because the guy, a lot of people would understand also that you shouldn't murder somebody. Technically, it, it makes a lot of sense. You, uh, if you have something, I, I shouldn't be able to steal it from you. If you're gonna, uh, if, if you, if you can't, you shouldn't be able to take someone's life. We can understand that intellectually, but sometimes something will happen in your life that you, you're gonna wanna override that. So the Torah says no. The same way Amuna, Anachi Hashem Lekechel, the same way you have to believe that, you have to understand in, the, in all the Aseris Adibrois that it's not, you, you, the reason we don't do it is the reason is because the Torah says so. And that's the difference between an Amuna of a Yid and, a, and the Amuna of somebody who's not an absolute mom in an HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We believe in HaKadosh Baruch Hu not because we understand, even though there are times that we do understand, but we believe because the Torah said so. We believe because the Hashem we believe, and that's the Amuna that Yisrael 
uh, felt. That's what Yisrael saw, that he didn't, he was lacking that. And that's why Yisrael picked himself up. And when he heard about Kriyas Yamsuf, what did he hear about him? He saw that Amalek was able to go and fight with the Yidin after such an unbelievable moment as, as Kriyas Yamsuf. Yisrael said, no, I have to have the Amuna that a Yid has to have. I have to go and change my Amuna and elevate myself. That's why Yisrael came. And that's a lesson we can all take. That we have to try to understand that sometimes when times are rough, but that's our amuna is not based on whether things are good, I'm based on things that we understand. Our amuna is based on we have to believe in a Kurdish That's all.